Tedrick, once again, you guys you know, walk up the field with another close <coughs> one. And uh, talk about your emotions as you guys uh, finish a season that I know has been disappointing mm -hmm. for the most part. Um, I was just down. I think I'm down on myself because um, I feel like I did a lot more this season. I think I'm not my toughest critic. So that's the main thing. I feel like I just could have done a lot more about the little things like trying to you got just talking to guys more and stuff like that. And the way that we didn't finish the season for our seniors who helped us a lot this year. You know, like y'all just talked to Jared. Who, me and Jared have been close since I was a freshman when I first got here. You know, he was uh, he was playing, he was starting and everything. And I used to just watch him the way he carried himself on and off the field. And, to see a guy like that that works that hard and wasn't able to go to a bowl game, wasn't able to get this last win, it, it just hurts me a lot. You guys obviously, you know, it didn't go the way you wanted. You have 13 straight years, no bye week. Um, how draining has this season been? Is there any relief at all that you guys get to take a break now? Nah, because, you know, it's football. Of course you're going to train no matter if we even have one, uh, one week off. You know, that's what we signed up for. That's what we work hard for. So, um, to be honest, I'm I'm like pissed and mad that the season's over that we can go to a bowl game. So, nah, not really. And with the defensive effort today, again, you guys uh, kept this team in it throughout the day. Yeah. Did a pretty good job defensively. Yeah, I think we did. I think we did a uh, good job. Uh, not good enough because we, you know, we let them get in the end zone a couple of times. But um, I think we're, we're going in the right direction towards next year and let us completely turn this defense around. Like, just, just look at the turnovers we had last year compared to this year. Just little things like that. So um, I think we're, like, definitely going in the right strides for next season. Yeah. Is it too early to start talking about next year? Or you already, I mean, you brought it up. Are you... Nah, I'm, I'm looking forward to next year. The only thing I'm, I'm looking forward to next year. The only thing that's like kind of keeping me down is the fact that you know I just had to hug seniors in there, just talk to some of my best friends, like CP, my, one of my best friends on the team, and to see a grown man cry off something like this, it, it definitely gets to you. And that's like I said, I'm really focused on next year, but that's the only thing I keep that's just keep going in and out of my mind right now. How much do you have to, when you're coming back? How much do you have to keep those? Uh, your desire to move on to next year and check, knowing that you've got a bunch of guys in there that don't get to play again. Um, a lot, because you know I think it's crazy. College goes by fast. Like I'm already basically a senior now, which is which is crazy, and I would have never thought it came to this point. But now that I'm a senior, I just try to take the things that guys taught me, like Jared, Marquise Mosey, Christian Powell, just a, just a lot of those guys. Um, Jordan Webb when he was here, Derek Webb, you know, just stuff that every senior that before me just taught me. So I'm just gonna try to you know take that into next year and try to lead people by by example, try to be more vocal and just things like that. And and because we're so close, we're so close, and like everybody says that, and I hate when I say it, but it's really the truth. We just gotta fix the little things to in order to get these wins because it it's really not not a lot of people that's better than us to be honest with you. We just always give up something that we shouldn't give up. You guys doubled your win total from last year, down pack total, but knowing your expectations coming into this year, would you say this team underachieved? Um, I, I would say so, just because we didn't, you know, we didn't get a lot of wins, we didn't go to a bowl game. But um, and at the end of the day, nobody's gonna matter about how how great we played defense, how great uh, defense, how great we played on offense. We didn't get enough wins. We're not in a bowl game, so I would say so. But at the same time, we made a lot of strides to where I was a freshman, um, like a lot of strides, like just seeing how the team was when I was a freshman till now is completely different. So we're definitely, you know, heading the right way, like I said, you said, but I think the main thing for us is that everybody has to come with that right attitude towards next season. We can't have, you know, a lot of guys not with the same attitude or or we're not going to be able to get these wins. It's gonna, everybody's got to man up and realize what we did the last three years. And, and for this next upcoming year, we can't, we can't have another year like that. What do you think has to happen for this team to turn the corner? Um, what I think will happen. What has to happen? <clears throat> um, everybody has to buy in. Uh, like I just said, I think that everybody just has to believe what the coach said, says, and everybody just has to believe in each other. That's the main thing, I think, because the coaches aren't on the field for us. Of course, we're going to you know, listen to them, and, and you know, they're going to put us in the right positions, but they can't make plays for us. You know, just talking on the offensive side, Levitt puts us in some great calls. You know, we just got to just gotta make them. You know? So I think we got to believe in each other and believe in ourselves before anything else can happen. Yeah, thank you.